So working away, uh, continue to add some builders to my yard. I'm gonna have about eight here eventually. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna set up these two builders um, to draw out some graft frames. So I'm just gonna show you how I have them set up. So you see me stock these full of bees yesterday. So this top box is right full of bees. Uh, so how we've set this up now is this is a frame feeder. So we have them on liquid feed. They've been just devouring that right now. So we've set this up and we want all these young bees to be very well fed before we put the graft frame, frame in. So here's liquid feed, uh, frame of foundation. Uh, then we have honey. Then we have a... Uh, Pollen frame, then a foundation, pollen, foundation, pollen, honey. And these two foundation frames is where the graft frame is going to be dropped into. So out of these two, we're going to run these two together. We're going to run two frames of 30. So we're going to run a, a 30 frame in slot A, and we're going to do the same in this hive too. We're going to drop a, a frame into slot A. In four days, we're going to shift this frame into slot B and we're going to drop another uh, graft frame in this place and then after four days we'll do the same thing this frame will then go into the incubator and it just keeps rotating through like that and that way this colony can be an almost like continual royal jelly production and it kind of suits my schedule um, every four days then into the incubator for a couple days and then into the nukes so we'll see if that works we see how well it works um, we'll give it a try so what i want to do is i want to show you my uh, my cards that i'm making up here i have this little laminator and um, what i do is on the on the front of each breeder I have my score tag, so I have to name my queen in there. I'll name like uh, A, B, B, Q or something like that. And um, and then throughout the year, we do an assessment on it. And this is what we use throughout the April. As we go through and we find possible breeders throughout the year, we'll tag it with this tag. And then throughout the year, we will just grade it. And at the end of the year, we should have a grade on the colony. and coming through winter when we're doing and then in the spring when we're doing our selections we'll find these tags and then we'll we'll take the best um, as I'm sending my graft frames through the builders I follow that graft frame with my little tag here I did this last year worked very well uh, it just tells me the date and timing of when everything happened on that graft frame uh, so when Carrie goes through and does work she uh, grafts on a certain date uh, so there would be a graft on a certain date there and then tells us when we have to transfer to the incubator and to the nukes and what's going to hatch and all this kind of stuff and it just helps me uh, keep track of the work that's going on when I'm not around so at the end of the day I can walk around check the card see if the work was done and I don't have to interrogate uh, Carrie at the end of the day to see what was done and what wasn't done should it will be all in this card so this, uh, this card follows the graft frame through and into the incubator and then into our records as we transfer the cells into the nukes. That's basically what I do. It's pretty simple and it works very well.